Hello, Wari Magadi. In due tua cauto, tai cadri, fish farming consultants, agri-marine solutions. E tu non fai niente, non si sente niente. Non vai a fish farming a tempo. E non si sente niente. 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 Non si sente New farmers, the Tango change it away. So, got our first nothing alone from Agri Solutions. We are farmers in Arare South. So, uh, we bought almost 4,000 thing alone and we're given extras in case. Yeah, I think their service is good. Hopefully, we'll get a good yield from this. So is it your first time or you have once did it before? No, this is our first time. This is our first project. This is our first time. And you, their service, you like it? Uh, I think uh, it's good. I can't complain. Thank you very much. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Tinashe Midzi. I just purchased my 1,000 fingerlings from Agri Marine. Uh, I'll be supporting their business as they are reliable suppliers. I made my order yesterday and within 24 hours I have received my order. I'll actually be purchasing the high quality feed too and I encourage you guys to also participate in this uh, fish farming endeavor. I am doing my fish farming and I'm based in Shawasha Hills, Glenlo. Thank you. So as you, can, as you know as Agri-Marine Solutions, we try by all means to help my farmers to, to, to grow a fish and it, to, to one market and one day fish. It was so good to be a fish in Zimbabwe miss. So to encourage them, my farmers to think, why no, never ever would have harvest a fish. To eh, batani, to to take a fish from you, then to go take a fish. Ne mami ma ma market, because fish is more precious than gare hai. To no take a fish, no take a no gorina no go in. Then go away your winter, yes, you know, to chan, you know, fit a fish for growth rate. So we introduced my greenhouses. It will cover my, my fish ponds so that my temperatures you don't maintain it for 27 to 32 degrees Celsius. And now my optimum temperatures you do a fish you could cool as a banana. My name is Arthur Meekin. Uh, I'm starting a, a very small fish farm. I've come and come to buy the the fingerlings and the food to get going. Um, and we see how it goes from there. Hopefully it won't take too long to get off the ground. Today I've bought a thousand fingerlings and uh, 30 kgs of uh, starter food. So uh, it's a project which my son wanted to start up and unfortunately I've got to do all the donkey work. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully if it gets off the ground we'll be doing a, quite a bit more. Good day farmers. My name is George Tafarata Firei and I'm an aquaculturist here at Agri Marine Solutions. So I'm just going to do a brief demonstration of how you introduce the fingerlings into a pond. So this packaging that I have here is what we call the oxygen bag. So there are fingerlings, there are about 1,000 in this bag. And they should uh, be safe for the next 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours, depending on how big the fingerlings are. So what you do when you get here at Agdemar Solutions, we give you the oxygen bag and you go with it to your pond. So when you arrive at your pond, what you need to do you float this oxygen bag on top of the pond water for about 15 to 20 minutes. The reason why we do this is when to climatize the conditions that are in the bag, they should be at equilibrium with the conditions that are already in the pond in terms of the temperature, the pH and other water quality parameters. So after you have done the, the climatization for like 20 minutes, you now open the bag, open this side and then you take uh 50 percent of the water and the in the pond then you put it in the oxygen bag so after you've introduced the fingerlings into the pond water the next step is to let them climatize and get used to the environment for about three days 
So between the period of uh, day one that you have introduced them to day three, they'll be feeding on the plankton. So we recommend farmers to have the plankton booster uh, applied into the pond, into the pond. I mean, before you have uh, introduced the fingerlings, because they should be eating the plankton during the period of three days that you are not feeding them. In terms of feeding now, which is the third day that you are going to feed the fingerlings, you feed the fingerlings four to five times a day. That is when they are feeding two fingerlings. You feed them four to five times a day, and then you feed them at the same spot and at the same time. So when you're feeding the fingerlings, maybe you're starting off uh, at around uh, 9 a.m. So you make sure that every day of the week, you're feeding them at, eight, eight, uh, at 9 and you're feeding them at the same spot. You need to be constantly at your pond to see if the water is too safe. If there is a foul smell that is being produced by your pond, it means that there's something that is wrong with the pond water. So you need to flush out the, wat the water. So I recommend that you you change your water twice a month to just make sure that you're, you're diluting the effects of toxicology that is happening in the pond water. Then you try to say, say winter fish at Nazo Pres of Anag, and a good at Nazo Jess of Anag. So encourage you to maintain a growth rate to fish. That is a plankton booster, in a way, each booster fish growth rate in a good drama muscles, a fish was in a protein in a quana in a good fish. Plankton booster, you know, and for a liquid form format, a in a swam pond, a good mugaremone, in a manuscript, a quana fish. So fish panning a chimam for a page fame, and a tora, each tora ma protein, I, I, in a mamma, ma manuscript, and a bachelor with fish, even each quarter of an hour. So plankton booster, you know, but it has a knack as a canyon steric, but a growth rate of fish to encourage a steric in farmers to move, moving a plankton booster, Mr. Plankton booster, but a pangway chandra had I. Then also when a fish drink a tiruara, a very musa, musa sea fish, then you see a pangway good tea, Mugona fish yafa, move my gnome. At least if only to bachelor and negotiating a fish, it's not a water. Near good as feeding, one is overfeeding. So, there's no water and yam, and it's to me in chand. So, to know who's out on fish yard or a nail, to know one what she to examine a fish, sing as a fat zia with the fish eating get a chirrecha cat, you know, to toss or a die, you will fish eating get a chirrecha cat, you know, to toss or a die, or run in a eating vura. I would sometimes in vura, you know, water quality, I get a poor, very poor, in a rare fish. To test up a name for the other must say the cancel. Cancel water and get treated in chlorine. So chlorine in our future fish, the booty adds to a square mush plus genetic diseases. Pani anodma, but gas bubble disease, and it's a fish, and no concern. The gall bladder, everybody she wanted to fresh this river. So Jagadaro to treat a team for like if an chlorine it out treat or so. We have to know what she shall take a problem with the puppy. In variety, can't eat fish, can't eat feed. So, tine also ma, tine also ma, ma filters, ma carbonated filters, and a clean chlorine. So, you know, as you know, that is, but there are not cheap, but there are good. Tive cheap goods and fish they do. Jagana can't see what time. Ah, tine not say Florence very happy. Tine not back what spends what five. Chiman money, and we have no tenga or mafina things. I need to start project here. From my recommendations, and another one on the So, here at Agri Marine Solutions, not only do we do fish farming, we also culture aquatic plants that we need as supplementary feed for our fish. So here is my pond. So in my pond here, I have three species of aquatic plants. Number one is Azola. So Azola has been widely used in China and Vietnam as a winter crop. They use it to produce uh, large quantities of nitrogen. So here in our pond, we culture it and we can feed it to our fish uh, as a supplementary feed uh, as it contains uh, the amount of nitrogen that we need for nutrition for our fish. Then secondly, I also have the water lettuce. 
So what the water lettuce does, it uh, obtains all the nutrients that I need that are in the water. So when you're feeding it to the fish, it means that already you have all the nutrients that you need for the fish to grow in terms of protein, in terms of fat and everything. So you have them all in the water lettuce. Then least, lastly, but not the least, we have the duckweed. So this is one of the important uh, weeds that I've been trying to use in aquaculture. So duckweed contains 92 to 94% water and uh, there is a high content of protein in the, in the duckweed. So we've been using duckweed to feed our fish as a supplementary together with the maggots and by incorporating the duckweed and the maggots in, together with the supplementary feed uh, we have uh, required uh, grams per six months.